Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're an international pharmacy graduate and you're dreaming of becoming a licensed pharmacist in Canada, you're in the right place. My name is Navi, and today, I'll be breaking down the entire process step by step to help you achieve your goal. From the initial documentation evaluation to internship, we'll cover everything you need to know. So, grab a cup of coffee, and let's get started. The first step in your journey is the documentation evaluation by the Pharmacy Examining Board of Canada, or PEBC. This step is crucial because it verifies that your pharmacy degree and credentials meet Canadian standards before you can proceed to the exams. You'll need to submit various documents, including your degree certificates, transcripts, and proof of identity. You also need to have your documents translated into English or French if they're in another language. Keep in mind the minimum qualification is four years degree in Bachelors of Pharmacy. It's important to make sure all your paperwork is in order, as incomplete or incorrect submissions can delay your application. Once PEBC reviews and approves your documents, you'll receive an evaluation letter, which is your ticket to the next stage, the evaluating exam. So, keep a close eye on the PEBC portal for updates on your application status. After your documents are approved, it's time for the evaluating exam. This exam assesses whether your pharmacy education aligns with Canadian standards, covering subjects like biomedical, pharmaceutical, and clinical sciences. Make sure to use the PEBC website for the exam syllabus and recommended textbooks. It's a good idea to join study groups or connect with others who are preparing for the exam to share resources and tips. Once you pass the evaluating exam, you'll move on to the qualifying exams, which consist of two parts, the multiple choice question, MCQ, Exam and the Objective Structured Clinical Examination, OSCE. The MCQ tests your clinical knowledge and problem-solving skills, while the OSCE is a practical exam that assesses your communication skills and ability to handle clinical scenarios. Passing these exams proves you're ready to practice pharmacy in Canada. Next, you need to demonstrate your English language proficiency by taking tests like IELTS or TOEFL. These tests evaluate your reading, writing, listening, and speaking skills, which are crucial for patient interaction and professional communication. After clearing the exams, you'll need to complete an internship to gain practical experience. The duration varies by province, so check the requirements for the specific province you plan to work in. During your internship, you'll work under the supervision of a licensed pharmacist, which is an invaluable opportunity to apply your knowledge, refine your skills, and build professional connections. With all exams passed and your internship completed, the final step is to apply for licensing with the pharmacy regulatory body in your chosen province. Be sure to review their specific application requirements and submit everything on time to avoid delays. Even after you become a licensed pharmacist, it's important to stay current. Canadian pharmacists are required to participate in ongoing professional development, which helps ensure the best care for patients. And that's it. I hope this step-by-step -step guide makes the process clearer and more manageable. Becoming a licensed pharmacist in Canada is a challenging but rewarding journey, and I'm here to support you every step of the way. If you have any questions or need further guidance, leave them in the comments below and to know about detailed video for every step. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.